are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. Today we thought we would do a different type of video. We thought we would go for a walk and answer some of your questions. I asked my patrons to give me some questions because we haven't done this for quite a while and I've got a whole list of them here. I've written them all down on a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult. He was waiting for me. Okay, and it's him we're coming out and you're over here. And uh, we're going to answer your questions one by one. So question number one, Kelly asks, is Carlo going to be a YouTuber like you? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Not by a father or YouTuber. Yeah, even though I don't consider myself a YouTuber, it's just an extra thing that I do, but I suppose I am, but I don't think of myself as a YouTuber. And it's definitely not Carlo's plan to become a YouTuber. He will help me. Yes. Okay, so Heidi asks, I'm a relatively new subscriber. There are some people I see frequently, Elizabeth included, who... Boy, stack out of Holly. We were getting very, very tangled up with Holly on the lead. Okay, stack you, Holly, and Atomo. So you're going to have to excuse us. It's going to be a little bit confused because we're going to try and do this all in one take so I don't have to edit anything. Okay. So Heidi was asking, I see frequently, Elizabeth included, people who I'm unclear of their relationship to you. You get along so, you get along so well, I thought you might be sisters. So <laughs> well, Elizabeth is a very good friend of mine. She lives in Positano. I'm English, Elizabeth is Austrian. So we're not sisters. Um, we've re been asked over time if Elizabeth is Carla's sister. No, she's not Carla's sister either. <laughs> she's not Luca's wife um, and uh, we're going to do a, a complete video of who's who. When we get back to Italy, we're going to try and get as many people as we can together and do a who's who's video, just so we can direct people there when they're not sure of who everybody is. So you'll see that eventually. Okay, next question. Kim asked, would you ever consider doing guided kayak tours from Positano or do you just want to do videos? Mm, no, because I like very much to go in kayak, but uh, for uh, essentially for to um, make this for for uh, a work, an issue to a license I don't have. Yeah, yeah, you have to have a license to be any sort of tour guide here. So um, if you do want to do a kayak tour in Positano, you can contact Alberto at. Um, Kayak Positano, Positano in Kayak. Oh God, I can't remember now. I'll leave the link in the description box below. But he's a very good kayak tour guide. We wouldn't want to take away from him. Uh, Maurizio, now that you've entered a new stage with Carlo officially retired, that makes you sound so old. Ma io non sono un pensionato. No, he's not, pen <laughs> he's not on his pension and retired. He's just given up one job and concentrating on something else. Uh, what are your plans moving forward? A new business? A possible move? Live okay. like hippie nomads? <laughs> In this moment, I want to explore to do anything. And uh, maybe the next, uh, no, so, uh, few months, I decide when I want to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got lots and lots of things going on. I'm still working. Um, I've got, there's just so much happening. Uh, we're not planning on moving at any time soon and we're not planning on becoming travellers. Of course, we are going to go away every now and again if we can, just like everybody does. We're now in England, but that's because my family's here and I don't get to see them very often. So it's nice to spend some time at home where I grew up with my family. Doesn't mean that we've become travel vloggers. Yes, we've got to travel to get here and we've got to travel to get back but that's all part of stuff that everybody does, so. I feel, okay, I, I, I want to add. To add? Add, uh, simply uh, we filming uh, when, uh, no when, sorry. Oh, I'm lost. I didn't mean to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Semplicemente filmiamo quello che facciamo. 
yeah, we'll film what we do when we choose to do so and um, take it from there. We'll just see how it comes. Next question, Helen asked, oh, and Gordon also asked this, what are you bringing home since you're the driving? So last time we drove to England, I did a video of um, what I brought from England. Hang on, poo break, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you deal with that. <laughs> um, so last time we drove to England, we uh, did a video of what we brought from England in the car. And there was rather a lot of sweets and candies and biscuits and sweet things. Um, this time, yes, of course, we're gonna be filling the car to the brim. It's a bit of a mixture of stuff this time. So we, we, we are planning on making a video to show you what we're gonna bring with us. So that'll be a whole separate video. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna put Holly in the car. It's gonna be quite full. And we've had to send Sky by plane because there's not enough room for her either. Okay. Um, Ray, have you considered using car ferries to transit through Spain instead of France? Well, yes, um, if you don't know, over Christmas, France uh, briefly banned all UK residents that lived abroad from transiting through France. Now, this was supposedly a COVID precaution, but it sounded much more like a Brexit um, discriminatory move to me. And it left thousands and thousands of British people stranded who'd driven over to England for Christmas who couldn't go back because it's uh, transiting through France is really the only way to get into Europe. Uh, now there are ferries to Spain, but unfortunately I did look and they were all completely fully booked up. There's only about two a week in the winter and they're very, very expensive. They're over 700 pounds one way for a car um, and two people, which is a lot of money. I mean, it costs us less just to drive all the way back. So can't really consider that at the moment. Next question, Carlo. Did you yeah. find English easier now that you're here? Um, depends. When I stay with uh, English people, <laughs> I learn more. But in uh, this moment at home, with uh, a lot of people speaking in Italian, doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, with uh, Sky, Nicola and Tommaso here, there's been a lot of Italian <laughs> spoken at home, much more than I expected. So, yes. But um, no, he's definitely getting better, don't you think, guys? <laughs> um, and she also asked, hang on, where are we? Um, can you imagine living anywhere other than Positano, even part-time? Imagine vivendo in alto posto. Yeah, yeah. You can. Uh, when I have the possibility to come back in Positano, it's okay for me. Okay, so part-time would be okay, yeah, but yeah. full-time, no. No not, no, not now. Not now. Not now, no. Maybe in the future. Virginia asked, have you thought about starting up a guided tour now that Carlo has retired with a focus on the Amalfi Coast, Naples and Sorrento? No. Uh, the uh, question is pretty similar yeah, to the, to the uh, kayak yeah, one. Uh, to be a tour guide in Italy, you have to be licensed. Um, and it's a seven year training. It's not something to take to be taken lighthearted. Tour guides really work very, very hard to get their qualification. And it's not something that we're planning on doing. If you do want a tour guide for the Amalfi Coast, Naples or Sorrento area, our friend Zia Lucy is highly recommended. And uh, yes, I want to do this but only for uh, friends. Yeah, for friends yeah. it's fine. We'll take friends Family. around and stuff, but uh, not as a job. We've got enough on our place as it is. <laughs> for prison. Yeah. Any plans or desires to travel to the USA? Yeah, I want, uh, especially in um, Arizona or, um, because it's a, it's, a, it's a very different place. Uh, Europe. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just uh, what's it is? a dream. A dream. Okay. I've been many times. We used to have a family um, home in Florida, so I used to go there every year. And I've got a brother in California, 
and my other brother used to fly for Virgin Atlantic so I used to fly back and forth with them quite a lot to New York and LA so I'm good for now <laughs> but we always did think about wouldn't it be fun to do a trip around the US or around the world coming to stay with all the people who've offered us somewhere to stay I think that would be absolutely amazing because we've had so many offers of places to stay so that's something to consider in the future and next this is for me okay. how is your book coming along um, so I've got two books in the works at the moment my novel that I novel fiction book that I wrote is finished it's been finished for ages it's been edited and I'm now completely stuck at the stage of converting it from a Microsoft Word document to an ebook format so I can publish it on Kindle um, uh, obviously no publisher is going to come along and give me an offer but um, I've got to figure out how to do that myself and I'm struggling a bit um, I don't want to self-publish it with one of the um, vanity publishers I don't want to do that I want to get it put into an ebook format and then sell it or get a publisher but it's not as easy as it looks and I've got another book that I'm working on at the moment which is going to be more of a coffee table recipe photos little short stories and um, I was going to I was going to put that one out at Christmas but then I decided it could be better so I'm still working on it. Thank you for asking. Next question. How does your dad stay busy? Do you have a brother nearby? I have two brothers nearby and my dad it's his birthday today. He's um, 89 years old. I'm sure he won't mind me saying that. <laughs> he stays busy by going out for extremely long walks. And once we've finished this walk, we're going to go back and take him out on an extremely long walk. Yeah. So that's what he does. Um, and yeah, my brothers visit him every now and again as well. Uh, next question. Next question. After three weeks on flat ground, how will it be oh. doing all the steps again? <laughs> Uh, Sue and Sheila asked this. It's terrific. Yeah. To come back to Positano. <laughs> Maybe my legs <laughs> is very hurt. Now, um, <laughs> come si dice? Sono al pensiero. <laughs> yeah, we're a bit worried, but um, it's just going to take some getting used to again. And it's just the best way to handle the steps is to go slowly. Next question. Dan wants to know what Carlo thinks about a full English breakfast. Yeah, but uh, maybe for me it's uh, better for uh, lunch or, or dinner. Yeah, not yeah. for breakfast. No, no. <laughs> I agree, I agree. <laughs> Jan wants to know, is your dad, is your lovely dad still making jam? Oh yes, <laughs> yes, we still have four cupboards full of jam. I made jam in the kitchen and yes we're bringing a he's already packed up a box for us to bring back for carlo's parents next question <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> excuse you uh, uh how much of dad's jam are you taking home and can you use it to bribe the border please that is from jana um yeah so as i said we're taking uh, he's, we've got a box to take home to carlo's parents and Yes, maybe I should take some to bribe the border police. Although at this point it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh dear. <laughs> um, Kristen asked, have you ever considered having bees in our garden? Yes, uh, my dad really wanted me to get bees because my dad used to be a beekeeper and he promised me that I would get bees one day. But Carlo's dad says that the bees wouldn't stay in our garden because there's not enough sun and the garden's in the wrong place. So it's something we have to think about. Maybe we could use a bit of our neighbor's land. Yeah, the Michele, see it. From Michele, um, and he's got a more sunny place and maybe we could keep bees there. I'd have to talk to the neighbor about it, but it is something that I would absolutely love to do and I would totally be up for that. I'm not scared of bees, I love bees, so yes. Yeah. Is it strange uh, what, what is uh, change? How is change in a few meters? Can't point to another talk, question. Puoi tenere con l'altra mano? Ok. 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 That's it. My hand was about to drop off. All right. Ok. Vogliamo girare? Yes. 
Turn around. Turn around. Wait, let me get this. <laughs> okay. Oh, Hello. Um, we've got what? Hello. 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 Sì, ce ne um, sono di tre tipi diversi, ho letto nei commenti, però perché non lo sapevo. Ah, uh, there's three different types of squirrels in Italy and yeah. um, not in our area though, not at no. all, which no. is strange. So, no squirrels in Italy. Anyway, those are all the questions. Let me just poo on me. <laughs> <laughs> those are all the questions. And... And? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a complete blank. Those are all the questions for now. There's a few questions that I haven't answered because I thought we could probably answer them as we're driving back in the car. So we will just save a few questions for later on. Now, we are going to be driving back soon. We're just having a few more days here. We've got no rush to get back and um, we will let you know where we go when we decide. We still haven't decided in which direction we're going to go to get back. So thank you for watching and we will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye bye. Bye.